For over a millennium, humanity clung to a vision of the cosmos where Earth reigned supreme, unmoving at the center of all creation. This was the Ptolemaic system, a geocentric model of the universe meticulously crafted by the Greco-Egyptian astronomer Claudius Ptolemy in the 2nd century AD. In Ptolemy's grand design, the sun, moon, planets and stars all revolved around our seemingly stationary world. This Earth-centric view resonated with our innate sense of place and importance, shaping our understanding of the cosmos for centuries. The Ptolemaic system was more than just a scientific model. It was a philosophical framework that intertwined with religious beliefs and cultural perspectives. The idea of an unmoving Earth at the center of the universe resonated with the Aristotelian philosophy that dominated intellectual thought during Ptolemy's time. This philosophy reinforced the notion of an earthly realm, distinct from the celestial spheres, further solidifying the Ptolemaic system's place in the intellectual landscape. The Ptolemaic system, however, was not merely a product of philosophical speculation. It was rooted in centuries of astronomical observations, painstakingly recorded by Babylonian and Greek astronomers. Ptolemy meticulously analyzed these observations, synthesizing them into a comprehensive model that aimed to explain the complex movements of celestial bodies. His work, the Almagest, became the definitive astronomical text for the next 14 centuries, influencing generations of scholars and shaping our understanding of the universe. The Ptolemaic system presented a remarkably intricate and ingenious model of the cosmos. It posited a series of nested, transparent spheres, each carrying a celestial body in its eternal revolution around the Earth. The closest sphere carried the Moon, followed by Mercury, Venus, the Sun, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. Beyond these lay the sphere of fixed stars, a backdrop of unchanging celestial fire that formed the outermost boundary of Ptolemy's universe. Central to the Ptolemaic system were the concepts of deference and epicycles, ingenious geometrical constructs designed to account for the seemingly erratic movements of the planets. Ptolemy observed that planets sometimes appeared to slow down, stop and even reverse their direction in the sky, a phenomenon known as retrograde motion. To explain this, he introduced the concept of epicycles, smaller circles upon which planets moved while simultaneously orbiting Earth on larger circles called deference. This intricate dance of epicycles and deference, while seemingly convoluted, allowed Ptolemy to reconcile his geocentric model with the observed movements of celestial bodies. His model accurately predicted the positions of planets with reasonable precision, solidifying its acceptance among astronomers for centuries to come. The Ptolemaic system, with its intricate geometry and remarkable predictive power, became the cornerstone of astronomical knowledge shaping the scientific landscape for over a millennium. As astronomical observations grew increasingly precise, however, subtle discrepancies between the Ptolemaic model and the observed movements of celestial bodies began to emerge. Planets deviated from their predicted paths and astronomers struggled to reconcile these discrepancies with the established geocentric framework. To account for these anomalies, astronomers introduced even more epicycles, creating a complex system of nested circles within circles. Imagine a planet moving on an epicycle, which itself moved along a larger deferent. Now envision that this deferent was not centered on Earth, but on another point, called an equant. This equant offset from the Earth introduced further complexity into the Ptolemaic system. It allowed astronomers to fine-tune the model and better match the observed movements of planets, but at the cost of further geometrical intricacy. The addition of the equant, while improving the model's accuracy, also introduced a philosophical conundrum. It violated the long-held assumption that celestial motion must be perfectly circular and uniform. The equant implied that a planet's speed varied along its orbit, a concept that challenged the prevailing belief in the inherent perfection of the heavens. This tension between the desire for a perfect, harmonious cosmos and the need for a model that accurately reflected observations would continue to fuel debate among astronomers. The Aquant's introduction, despite its controversial nature, highlights a crucial aspect of scientific progress, the willingness to adapt and refine models in the face of new evidence. 
The Ptolemaic system, though rooted in a geocentric framework, demonstrated a remarkable capacity for refinement and adaptation. Astronomers continually adjusted the model, adding epicycles and introducing concepts like the equant to better align it with observations. This ongoing process of refinement underscores the dynamic nature of scientific inquiry. Scientific models are not static pronouncements of absolute truth. They are evolving frameworks that are constantly tested and refined against the backdrop of empirical evidence. The Ptolemaic system's evolution reflects this principle, showcasing the scientific community's commitment to refining its understanding of the cosmos, even within the confines of an established paradigm. The Ptolemaic system, despite its eventual displacement by the heliocentric model, served as a valuable stepping stone in the development of astronomy. It demonstrated the power of meticulous observation and mathematical modeling in understanding the movements of celestial bodies. Moreover, it fostered a culture of astronomical inquiry that would pave the way for future revolutions in our understanding of the cosmos. The Ptolemaic system, despite its increasing complexity, retained its appeal for centuries. This enduring influence stemmed in part from its philosophical and aesthetic resonance with prevailing worldviews. The idea of an Earth-centered universe aligned with the Aristotelian notion of Earth as the center of the cosmos, a realm distinct from the celestial spheres. The Ptolemaic system's reliance on perfect circles also held strong aesthetic appeal. The circle, with its inherent symmetry and elegance, was considered the perfect geometric form representing the divine order of the heavens. The use of circles in the Ptolemaic model reinforced the notion of a harmonious, perfectly ordered universe, a concept that resonated deeply with both philosophical and religious beliefs. Furthermore, the Ptolemaic system's ability to predict the positions of planets with reasonable accuracy solidified its practical value. For centuries, it served as the primary tool for navigators, astrologers and astronomers, guiding their understanding of the heavens and their place within the cosmos. The system's predictive power, combined with its philosophical and aesthetic appeal, ensured its enduring legacy as a cornerstone of astronomical knowledge. Even after the Copernican Revolution and the rise of the heliocentric model, echoes of the Ptolemaic system resonate through modern science and culture. The concept of epicycles, while no longer used to explain planetary motion, finds application in other scientific fields. For instance, the motion of electrons around an atom's nucleus can be visualized as a kind of epicyclic motion, a testament to the enduring utility of Ptolemy's geometrical concepts. Beyond science, the Ptolemaic system's influence extends into the realm of language and metaphor. We still use phrases like the music of the spheres and celestial harmony reflecting the ancient belief in a perfectly ordered, musically harmonious cosmos. These linguistic remnants remind us of the enduring power of the Ptolemaic system's imagery and its lasting impact on our cultural understanding of the universe. Moreover, the Ptolemaic system serves as a potent reminder of the evolution of scientific thought. Its eventual displacement by the heliocentric model underscores the dynamic nature of scientific progress where even long-held paradigms can be challenged and overturned in light of new evidence and more compelling explanations. The Ptolemaic system's journey from a dominant paradigm to a historical artifact highlights the continual refinement and self-correction inherent in the scientific process. Imagine a world where the Ptolemaic system had never been challenged, where Earth remained the undisputed center of the universe. In this alternate reality, astronomy would have evolved along a radically different trajectory. Astronomers, bound by the geocentric framework, would have continued refining the Ptolemaic model, adding ever more epicycles and equants to account for increasingly precise observations. The pursuit of a perfect geocentric model might have spurred innovations in mathematics and geometry as astronomers grappled with the complexities of planetary motion. Imagine intricate, clockwork-like models representing the celestial spheres meticulously crafted to mimic the observed movements of planets. These intricate mechanisms, while visually impressive, would ultimately mask the underlying simplicity of the heliocentric model. In this alternate reality, the exploration of the cosmos would likely have remained earthbound. Without the impetus for a heliocentric perspective, there would be no need to venture beyond our planet, no drive to unravel the true nature of the solar system and beyond. 
our cosmic perspective would remain tethered to the limits of our terrestrial sphere, a testament to the profound impact of a single fundamental assumption about our place in the universe. How would modern astronomy look in this alternate geocentric reality? Telescopes, still a vital tool for observation, would be focused on refining the details of the Ptolemaic system, meticulously tracking the movements of epicycles and equants. Astronomers would likely develop sophisticated mathematical tools to predict the positions of celestial bodies within the geocentric framework, achieving remarkable precision despite the model's inherent complexity. Imagine complex, computationally intensive simulations of the Ptolemaic system rendered in stunning detail on powerful computers. These simulations would allow astronomers to explore the intricacies of the geocentric model, testing various configurations of epicycles and equants to better match observations. However, these advancements would ultimately reinforce the geocentric paradigm, obscuring the underlying elegance and simplicity of the heliocentric model. The exploration of the cosmos in this alternate reality would be a pursuit of ever finer details within the geocentric framework. Space probes, instead of venturing to other planets, might be used to map the positions of stars with unprecedented accuracy, further refining the celestial sphere within the Ptolemaic system. However, the true nature of the solar system, with its planets orbiting the Sun, would remain hidden behind the veil of a geocentric worldview. The eventual shift from a geocentric to a heliocentric perspective marked a profound turning point in our understanding of the cosmos. Nicholas Copernicus, in the 16th century, dared to challenge the long-held assumption of an Earth-centered universe, proposing instead that the Sun lay at the center of the solar system. This revolutionary idea, though initially met with resistance, ultimately paved the way for a more accurate and elegant understanding of the cosmos. The Copernican Revolution was not simply a shift in perspective, it was a paradigm shift that fundamentally altered our understanding of our place in the universe. By placing the Sun at the center, Copernicus simplified the model of the solar system, eliminating the need for complex epicycles and equants. His heliocentric model, with its inherent elegance and explanatory power, laid the foundation for modern astronomy. The shift to a heliocentric perspective also had profound philosophical and cultural implications. It challenged the anthropocentric view of the universe, displacing Earth from its privileged position at the center of creation. This shift in perspective, while initially unsettling, ultimately fostered a more expansive and humbling view of our place in the cosmos, recognizing Earth as one planet among many orbiting a single star in a vast and awe-inspiring universe. The Ptolemaic system, though ultimately superseded by the heliocentric model, serves as a powerful reminder of the evolution of human understanding. It highlights the dynamic nature of scientific progress, where even long-held beliefs can be challenged and overturned in light of new evidence and more compelling explanations. The Ptolemaic system's journey from a dominant paradigm to a historical artifact underscores the importance of questioning assumptions, embracing new perspectives and continually refining our understanding of the world around us. Moreover, the Ptolemaic system's enduring influence both within science and in language and metaphor speaks to the power of ideas to shape our perception of the cosmos. Even though we now know that Earth is not the center of the universe, the imagery and concepts of the Ptolemaic system continue to resonate in our cultural consciousness, reminding us of humanity's long-standing fascination with the heavens and our persistent quest to comprehend our place within the grand scheme of creation.